Um, what? What's this one? That's a new one! I thought I was almost done here! God damn it! This is gonna take me another session to do. I've already been going for... I just literally just hit two hours. Shit on me! Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do this one. Oh, we got some criminals here, is there a way? No! Ow! Asshole! Alright. Can I get to the bottom of the murder of this prostitute now? Oh, look at this. We're all having some happy times dancing on the floor. Excuse me. Excuse me, you got a dead woman upstairs. Allow me to investigate. Well, this is certainly a busy place, isn't this? Oh, she's in the bed. That sucks. The gruesome murder. I'll say! Look at the bed! Good lord! Well, she seems... Oh, it's only one star? Are you kidding me? Well, Alright then. A young woman's body. She's been brutally whipped. Oh, shit. Her hands are bound and she's covered in wounds. Okay, why is she nude in the painting, in the drawing there, and not here? I mean... For the sake of consistency, I mean, come on. Okay. One of seven clues in the brothel. Good lord. I already investigated you, yes. Okay. Um. Well. This room is a mess. A diary. This appears to be the Marquis de Sade's personal diary. It is filled with explicit and disturbingly violent sexual content as well as far-ranging philosophical musings. Well, that doesn't surprise me. What? What? There's the whip. Oh, never mind. Ropes and gag. Short ropes and spittle-soaked gag, all stained in blood. So they tied her up, and they bound her, and they whipped her. And tortured her to death, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean. You woman, I assume you knew her. Oh, she did this, that's so sad. Even if I treated her properly, I told her, send him away. That he pays so much. Look, ropes, whip. That's the sad, all right, Randy bastard. Oh my God. Micheline claims Susanna was a favorite of the sad who came around frequently. Claims she warned Susanna about him. Noted that the objects in the room were typical of Desaad. So it's either Desaad. And it's a one diamond mission, so it could be <laughs> that easy. Or, <laughs> excuse me, it's someone who wants me to think it's Desaad. That man has plenty of enemies, I am willing to bet. Oh god, there's men coming Anna. and going all the time. I didn't see Desaad last night, but he could have been here, comes here a lot. It was too dark for me to see him proper. But there were some odd goings on last night. One John came in but didn't stay long enough to really do anything. And then there were two men, but only one went into Susanna's room. Looks like someone's trying to frame this odd, I think. I think! Noted that many men came through, and although she didn't see Desaad, it's possible that he was there. Noted one customer stayed a very short time. Afterwards, two men arrived, but only one went into Susanna's room. So I bet the first one was staking out the place, probably looking for Suzanne. Nah. And... Probably went and got the others, but why would they need to bring two if only one of them was going to go in there? Maybe one to watch the door. In here, perhaps? Or are all seven in that room? Oh, I did miss something in here. Is that what I think it is? Is that a fire poker? Oh no, it's a whip. That's a very straight whip. A long whip with a tip flecked in blood. There's a maker's mark on the handle. Seven rue de egudu punk. So, <laughs> fuck it. I have no idea. Okay, so that's six of seven. Oh, God, a knife. Okay, that's not good. Bloody instruments capable of puncturing human flesh. Oh, spikes and hooks. That looks an awful lot like a dagger to me. You couldn't just say it outright. Okay, so that's all the clues here in the brothel. Desaad, what have you done? Probably nothing. But let's see. Six? Six locations for a one diamond mission. Holy shit. And I only have two uncovered. One of them is this. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and talk to him. 
He's probably gonna say what I think it is, how his enemies are trying to undermine him. After I did all that, all those Paris stories that basically put him in control of all the brothels in the area, they're probably trying to bring him down by framing him for murder. That makes enough sense. Why do you have to live so far away, man? Doesn't matter, because we're right here again. Alright, Maquis. Free clues. Talk to you. Oh, shit. I must have been in here before, because I got that. I didn't even know where I was. Shit. Okay, so there's two... Wait, the Maquis not here. Oh, no, he is. He's over there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and read this first. An extract from the diary, perhaps? Oh, no. A letter to Valet. I'll meet you there and we'll arrange payment. Fifty livres, as discussed. Livres? Livres? I have no idea. Alright, then. It could very well be possible that someone put that in here, too. He has a lot of people coming and going in this place. Would you happen to be the Valet? Hello. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last night. It was a rare night off for him. If any of his personal effects are missing, well, he gets caught up in his activities and becomes careless. He could have left them anywhere. Let's go ahead and review that. He did not know Desaad's whereabouts on the night in question. Noted that Desaad is careless and could easily leave his personal effects anywhere. For someone to take. And use to frame him. I'm thinking Desaad probably had nothing to do with this, but I'm betting the valet did if it was his only night off. Come on then, you, you old reprobate. Unhand my master. You shut up. He's quite all right, old boy. This may be amusing. Oh, he was talking about me. Okay, well fuck you too. Marquis de Sade. Rue. I'm assuming that's King. Can I talk to you? There we go. It's all too delightful. Really? Murdery a girl? Those days are behind me. Oh, that's comforting. But I do enjoy the past. I did visit Susanna with some frequency, but not last night. I'm sure my valet can confirm my whereabouts. Oh, he there was a young man, some days ago, perhaps rather too taken with my philosophies. I recommended Susanna to him. It's not impossible he might know something. Indeed. Thank you very much, Maki. Statement! Admits to visiting Susanna with some frequency, but not on the night in question. Claimed his valet would provide an alibi, which he doesn't. Noted the appearance of a young man who subs subscribes to Desaad's philosophies. Desaad recommended Susanna to him. Okay, well who is this guy? This mystery man. Okay, what's this over here? Leather shop. It's probably where the whip was made. Okay. Alright, here we are. Two clues. Where's the owner? There you are. Maybe. Jean Mock, you're just a worker. Okay. Sure, I, I made that whip. I suppose it could belong to Desaad. I sell him all sorts of things. But you know, there's a student, strange fella. He wanted to buy all the same things that Desaad bought. Mm -hmm. Seem to think the sad some kind of god or something. I've got his address in the delivery book. Let me see. Uh, yes. Here it is. Thank you very much, monsieur. I'll need to go have a talk with that gentleman. Let's see. What else? I got another clue in here somewhere. There it is on the table. Alrighty. Delivery book. 44... Boulevard St. Martin. Okay. St. Martin. Whatever. I'll say it the American way because fuck it. What is legerie? What does that mean? I don't know. Is that a day of the week in French? <laughs> no fucking idea. Okay, so I think I have two new locations now. Um, I have the address of that one guy's place, which is here. I'm assuming I can't go upstairs from the inside, so I'll probably have to climb up from the outside, which is perfectly convenient. Well, actually, it is. There's a window right here. Ew! Is this the right floor? Nope, it's not. We'll go up higher. Here? No? Jesus! Alright, here we are. Student's hovel. 
Hi there. I assume you're the student. What else we got here? We got you and another clue, which I'm failing to see. Uh. Oh, uh, over here. Okay, so let's look at this first. Students' Hovel, Book 120 Days of Sodom by Donatien Alphonse Francois Marquis de Sade. This is infamous volume describing the depravities of four libertines locked in a castle with several dozen victims of both sexes. <laughs> oh boy. Some of the abuses described are underlined. God. Who's taking notes? That's just weird. You're weird. You're weird. Susanna. <laughs> Desard told me about her. I arranged a time Quentin and thought about all oh. the things I would do to her. <laughs> I started to lose my nerve, though, so I drank a couple of bottles of wine. By the time I got there, I couldn't go through with it. I turned around and left. Anything else? I heard two men in the dark just when I was leaving. One of them said, After it's done, come and meet me in the church courtyard at Saint Nicolas de Champ. I'll pay you there. Hmm. Claims he went to see Susanna but lost his nerve. <coughs> Excuse me, and left. It's cheese that stuck in my throat. <laughs> also claims to have heard two men talking. One of them said, after it's done, come meet me in the courtyard at Saint Nicolas de Champ. I'll pay you. Okay. The meeting plays. I haven't fully ruled you out yet, Monsieur. Just letting you know right now. One, two, three, four. I'm still missing one after this. All right, here we are. The meeting place. If Arno actually wants to get the fuck down, there we go. Only one clue in this giant area. And it's you. Something is not good about this. That's right, you're all the time. I've got nowhere to go. Who are you looking for? I saw a couple of fellas meet here late last night. One of them was dressed all fancy. Must be a servant. The valet. I overheard him mention his master. The valet. The I knew it. Afterwards, the other man went into that building right there. Right there. Churchyard statement of the vagabond. This building? Right here? You said it was a new location. Oh, no, over here. Okay. It is not in the direction you pointed, sir. Got two clues here. And they're both right in here. Alright, let's look at this one first. Pardon me, I believe this is where I got the letter from Marquis de Sade's thing. Scrapbook contains a collection of scandalous newspaper articles about the side, including his misadventures in. I'm not even gonna bother. Marseille and at Lacoste. Mm. And now what's this? A mysterious letter. You've done exceptionally well to find someone with access to Desaad's personal effects. Under no circumstances are you to do the fatal deed yourself. You must avoid having suspicions raised on the committee. Let our poor dupe do the work. He will be highly rewarded. Fifty livres are enclosed. When all is done, Desaad will wither in jail and his immoral and pernicious... Pernicious influence on our citizens will be washed away like so much aristocratic blood. L.A. de Saint-Just. L.A.? Have I come across someone with those initials? Well, either way, it's the valet. I think... It, that, that that was the sixth location, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, and then one over here. Six, yes. Okay, so that was the last clue, the last location. The valet. I'll meet you there and we'll arrange payment. Fifty livres as discussed. And the mysterious letter. Exceptionally well to find someone with access to Desaad's personal effects. Which would be the valet. He's talking to someone else. Under no circumstances are you to do the fatal deed yourself. Wait, we must avoid having suspicions raised on the committee. So the valet did do it himself. He was the one that had access to his personal effects, so the valet is the one who did it. But he had someone with ties to the Committee of Public Safety, probably. That, oh, that wanted to decide to go down. Oh, shit! Okay, so yeah, it's absolutely the valet. Let's go ahead and open up the map. Mark Desaad's brothel, which is right here. It's this one. God fucking damn it. There we go. 
All right, it's time to go accuse the valet. All right, it's time to accuse the valet. Who are you working for? Who are you working for? Ra's al Ghul is dead. <laughs> Olivier. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was Hello. Last night. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his personal effects are missing, well, he gets caught up in his activities and becomes careless. He could have left Deflecting the blame. You did it! I know you did! And if I get this wrong on a one diamond mission, I'm gonna punch myself in the fucking After face. After the degradations that I've suffered at the Dessart's hands, yeah, I jumped at the chance to put a gruesome end to the man. Say that right here, why don't you? He'll probably have you murdered in prison now. <laughs> like, seriously. He's standing right there next to you, broski. More cheese it's mm. I do hope you're proud of yourself. I am. That animal Dessard should be in here instead of me. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, he's charismatic. You're not. Therefore, I don't like you. Okay. Le Parent, justice once again. Where's Vidoc? Oh the shit! Beast broke out again. Don't you worry. I'll catch up with him soon enough. He's not that bright. Expect to see him on the gallows one of these fine days. So he's gone. Well killed. Hardly a crime in my estimation. Take your due. That's not fair. You don't base the crime on the value of the victim's life. Okay, summary. After this. I liked that one. That one was interesting. It was too easy, but you gotta start off somewhere, right? I just did these really out of order. Alright. We basically know what happened, but let's read anyway. Desaad's valet, Olivier, after years of witnessing scenes of debauchery and being subject to humiliations himself, Nyam was lured by an agent of Saint Just to frame Desaad for a murder. The valet collected some of Desaad's personal effects, met with with the Saint Just agent, and went to the brothel where he murdered Susanna in show of sadism. God. After the murder, he met the agent in a church courtyard for his payment, where the vagabond saw both valet and Saint Just agent. Yeah, pretty straightforward. All right. Two hits before they kill me. 